May I help you, sir? Oh, uh, that's right, Nas. I'm just counting forward 28 days from the last time Miss Fine seemed to hate my guts for no apparent reason. <laughs> no, that'll be next week. Mm. Something to look forward to, sir. <laughs> Cece, maybe you can shed some light on this. I mean, you're a woman. Mm. I'm still waiting for the DNA results. <laughs> You men just don't get it. She doesn't hate you, it's her life. She doesn't have a boyfriend. She has a dead-end job with no prospect. She's working for a man who hardly knows she's alive. Her own dog hates her. A blind date stole her stereo. <laughs> who was I talking about again? I think back, sir. One year ago today, someone spike heel dug its first divot into the parquet floor. <laughs> what are you going to get that fixed? Come closer. <laughs> One year to the day since we first learned, if it ain't half off, it ain't on sale. <laughs> would you just, would you just get to the point, old man? Work with me, sir. <laughs> it's her anniversary. Oh, Nas, don't be preposterous. I mean, you've been working here forever, and I haven't the faintest idea when you started. You don't go off all half-cocked. I keep the hurt inside, sir. <laughs> you also forget my birthday. I suppose that's all right, too. <laughs> Come on, Niles. Are you seriously telling me that Miss Fine is the type of person to hold it over my head just because I sin... <laughs> God, is it too late to send flowers? Maxwell, have you lost your mind? She is the nanny. I have been your partner for 10 years and we've never celebrated a damn thing. Get it? <laughs> Perhaps I can still pick something up at Bloomingdale's. Maxwell, we have to get to the airport. You are not gonna miss this ceremony. I can't walk down the aisle alone. I say prepare for the inevitable. Thank <laughs> you.